Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we're taking a look at a very cool piece of software which claims to be able to cure your PC of pretty much all the nasties and is actually very straightforward to use. Now the software we're going to be using today is called Tron and it's currently on version 12. Now there is actually a kind of like a one-click nuke all option on this particular piece of software which also does other things such as optimizing your system and restoring files etc. But in today's video we're actually going to go a little bit further than that or Technically, we're going to go backwards a little bit, and we're just going to do some of the key features of it. So we're going to do three steps, one of which is the preparation, which is kind of erasing some temporary files and also doing things like running process cleaners or stopping processes on the computer. Then we're going to go through and do a little bit more further optimization, and then we're going to do the scan. Now, you can if you want to. You can just run the whole thing. The choice is entirely up to you. We're going to go through and show you how to get the software, how to install it, how to set it up. Uh, it's completely free. And it is an open source piece of software put together by some security professionals. And I'll put some information in the video description so you can check it out over on Reddit. And also there's going to be downloads from trusted sites such as Major Geeks. So don't worry about it being open source and maybe a little bit sketchy. Uh, it's on Major Geeks. It's actually on Reddit as well. And loads and loads of people have used it in the past. And hopefully it's going to be a benefit to you. So with all that said, let's get stuck in. We'll head over to the computer and we'll make a start. So to begin with, we're on our Windows 11 PC. So this is the uh, the Tron sort of homepage on Reddit. So Tron script currently on version 12, as we said, and today's date is the 25th of the 1st, 2024. So this is the latest version. Now there are options with this, loads and loads of options in fact, so you can run it basically straight away and it does it all kind of blind, or you can run it with dev switches so you can choose various features. I would strongly, strongly suggest once you downloaded this, take a look at the instruction manual if there's anything you're unsure of. Now there is a sequence of operation, as I've discussed already, so this is clearly laid all out here. So you've got your preparation, your temp clean, debloat, disinfect, repair, patch, optimize, and wrap up, and also there's some manual tools as well. But in today's video, we're just gonna go through doing the preparation, we're gonna do the temp clean, and we're gonna do the disinfect. Because I think that's what most people just really need to do. Do you need to debloat Windows? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Uh, do you need a repair? Well, potentially you won't know until you've done the other ones anyway. So I think this is going to be the better way of doing it. And also there have been some cases where people have done the whole thing and it's caused problems with their system, especially with things like the debloating and possibly some of the patches have stopped some programs running and also in some instances actually removed legitimate Microsoft programs. So potentially we're just going to play it safe and do the minimal here to remove any viruses and or malware that may exist on the system. So anyway, links for that will be in the video description. The download page is over here, majorgeeks.com forward slash files forward slash details forward slash tron.html. So again, you can download it from here. Click on download at Major Geeks, you'll get the download thing. It's about half a gig in size. I've already downloaded it to my Windows desktop. So to uh, speed things up somewhat, although I am gonna say, Probably something you should do first of all. By the way, there's our download up here. A very good idea to do before you start any of this is to do a Windows restart. Just in case there's any Windows updates or anything in the background. Potentially, if there's Windows updates in the background, then it may actually kind of destroy Windows and not make it boot. So do a quick restart and then we'll be back. Okay, so our Windows system has rebooted any Windows updates which are in the background have been cleared, so we're okay to proceed. Now obviously, if you want to before you start this, it's always a good idea if you can to create a backup of your system, although if your system is absolutely littered with viruses and malware, then potentially backing up that maybe isn't the greatest idea, so just back up some choice information such as your documents folders and save game files and those kinds of things which you deem to be important. I'll leave that decision entirely up to you, now is the time if you want to do a backup, do one now. I've actually already done one. I'm using the Synology Active Backup for Business, so I've already sent a snapshot of today's system over to the NAS. So we've got our Tron download, so all you need to do is to double click on this. This is a self-extracting EXE file, so we're going to double click on that. And you can see now that has extracted. So we've got two folders from that. So we've got the integrity verification folder, and we've got our main Tron folder. So the Tron folder is the one we're actually very much interested in. So let's have a quick look inside of there. So you've got your resources, you've got your change log, the instructions, which is 
yes, actually read them. Please do read them. We won't at the moment, but if you want to, you can do it. We'll also have things like the switches. So if you want to add switches, so certain things are omitted or not used, you can certainly do that. That is more for running the tron.bat. So if you want to run the whole thing, start to finish all of the seven or eight segments, you can just right click on this, choose run as administrator and run the tron.bat. But if you want to be a little bit more selective on what you want to do, you can head over into the resources folder here. And now we've got our stages all laid out, our preparation. And if you go inside, you can see what is actually inside of each one. So there's various things, tools, and also some of the things which are included, such as McAulfey Stinger, Process Killer, R-Kill, TDSS Killer, etc. So essentially what it's going to do is going to automate this process. So rather than having to download all these individual tools and files, it basically does it all for you. So let's begin. First of all, we'll go with the stage zero, the preparation. So we go into that folder, right click on stage zero prep.bat. We're going to choose run as administrator. And you'll get the user account control come up. Do you want to make these changes? Yes, we do. And this is pretty much it. So now it's going to go through. It's going to stop a bunch of services. It's also going to go ahead and create a system restore point. So if for some reason things go a bit pear shaped, then it's basically going to be something you can recover from. So you don't have to worry too much about that. So in the background now, it is in the process of actually killing off all of the processes or all the necessary ones. So it can actually do what it needs to do. You'd also get this. So it tells you what it's actually doing. So generating the pre-run system profile. You can basically watch this to make sure it's still doing something. You may find, depending on your system, this actually does require the .NET Framework 3.5. So you do have to download and install this. If you don't have access to the internet, you can actually download this separately on another computer. But we'll go ahead and let that install. Once that's downloaded, it will start installing the .NET. And there we go. When we get to the end, it does take a little while. It says the .NET Framework 3.5 has concluded, so that took a fair few minutes. Just let it do its thing, be patient. So we can close that now. And if you're ever wondering what is actually going on, you can go in to the Windows directory that you've installed it, i.e. your C drive. And if you go into the main C drive, you'll see there's a folder called Tron in the logs folder. So you see logs, Tron, and then open up the log file. You can basically see what is happening. So if you think your system's crashed or whatever, you can just scroll to the bottom and you can see what the last entry is. So as you can see here, it's uh, doing all the things it needs to in the background and it says there at the end, done. Stage zero prep is complete. So we can close that log window down now. We don't need that anymore. And we can close that and close that. So now we can go on. Now we've done the preparation. We can now go up with some more cleaning work. So let's go back into Tron, go into resources. We go into stage one, temp clean. And what we're going to do is to, again, right click and choose run as administrator. Click yes, and we'll just let it go through and do its thing. So what it's going to do now, it's going to clear off things like your internet browsing history. It's going to clear your Cryptonet SSL certificate caches. It's going to clean your temporary files. It does actually run CCleaner. Now, don't worry, we all know CCleaner and the history of it, but this is just running the batch job of CCleaner. It isn't installing the software and it isn't going to start nagging you to uh, purchase it, etc. This is just a, a relatively simple way of actually cleaning out multiple places at the same time. Again, this software, Tron, is effectively just resourcing all of those individual little programs that we often use and just doing it with like a, a one-shot kill. Again, if you want to, you can go into your C drive, go into logs, go into Tron, and go into the Tron log file. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you may find that the job is actually finished. So when we're happy that that is done, we can again close our log file. We'll close down that window because that has now finished. It's a shame actually there's no more kind of uh, guidance or telling you when things are actually done other than it just basically not doing anything. Anyway, let's move on to the next section. So let's go back to our desktop. Go back into our Tron folder here, back into resources. So we've done our preparation, we've done our temporary cleaning. 
So the next thing we want to do, we're going to skip de-bloat and we're going to go into disinfect. So again, same deal. And this is the tools that it's going to run. So it's going to run the Kaspersky virus removal tool. It's also going to use the malware bytes adware cleaner. It's then going to use MBAM. Then it's going to use Sophos virus removal tool. So that is the four things it's going to do. So again, it just saves you downloading all those individually. We're just going to right click on this and choose run as administrator again on that batch file. Agree to it. And again, this is going to take a little while. So uh, yeah, you can go off, do something different. I would strongly recommend whilst this is running, don't try and do anything on your PC. That's clearly not a good idea whilst it's doing this sort of thing. Because first of all, we've killed off a lot of tasks anyway. You certainly shouldn't have anything like your web browser or anything like that open. So just let it do its thing, chill. That is the idea to make this as automated as possible. So just let it do its thing and uh, yeah, we'll carry on. So we've got done adware cleaner. That's gone through there. That's running the adware. We're now on to Kaspersky. Again, the log files will go. It'll do the scans. Again, just be patient. You'll see it doing its thing. This will probably take five, 10 minutes on a really bad system it could take absolutely hours so again just be patient depending on the state of the system the performance of the processor the amount of ram it can take a very long time okay so now jumping on to the next section this will be the sophos element sophos virus removal tool again with this it can take a while keep an eye there is actually like a little marker down here as long as that's moving, we're still scanning. So you probably get to a certain point where there are a lot of errors saying that it could not open. Now these are system protected files that Microsoft do protect. So basically the software can't access them. Fortunately, neither can viruses. So they can replace them, but they can't access them. So again, just uh, carry on, let it do its thing. So that is that segment finished. We're now looking for the installer to kick in. For, I believe it's going to be malware bytes. Okay, so that is it. It actually has installed malware bytes in the background. Didn't even uh, give me any warning or anything. It's just gone ahead and done it. And looking at the log file, so I was a bit startled that nothing was happening. Uh, checked in the log file, so stage three disinfect is complete. So, excellent stuff. So, we can uh, now close that. And after that, you've done this, if you want to, any programs which have been installed, you can remove. So we've got the malware bytes trial. You can get rid of that should you wish to. So if you go into your start menu, go into settings, then go into apps, installed apps. And then if you do date installed, so anything which has been installed will be towards the top here. So malware bytes, if you don't want that, you can just go ahead and click on the uninstall button and it will get rid of it for you as we're doing here. So we'll get rid of malware bytes and all the bits. Would you like to restart now? Nope, I'll do it later if that's okay. So there we go. And obviously once you're done, you can go ahead and if you want to delete all of this stuff. Although I'd be tempted if you want to get your uh, Tron folder and just copy it onto a USB stick and keep it handy because you can always go in, use the resources, Maybe you want to go into some of the repair sections. So the installer cleanup, file extension cleanup, all that kind of stuff if you want to do that. Or maybe for the patch section, optimization, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, feel free to use it however you like to. There is in their manual tools as well. So you've got things like the snappy driver installer. So if you want to install drivers, you can do. Uh, you've also got AdSpy. Auto runs, blue screen view, etc. So if you're getting blue screens, you can see what's going on. So it's a whole toolkit in here, really. There's a, a bit too much, really, to go through in one video. But if you're very interested and you want to find out more, then uh, do let us know in the comments section below. And we'll try and go over any individual items which are of interest. So there you go. There is this system done and dusted, cleaned. Now, to be honest with you, there isn't actually anything specific on the machine that I'm aware of at the moment, or there wasn't anyway. So I just wanted to do the scan because it's a good thing to do periodically. Now, obviously, if you're in a very different situation and your PC is hanging by a thread and it's uh, gone really slow, you're finding your mouse movement very jerky, or your GPU is running at 100% all the time and you don't know why, then I think it's gonna be a really good idea to actually download and try this. Now again, all the usual caveats apply. This is designed to be the kind of Domestos 
of virus cleaners so it cleans like 99.9% .9 of all known viruses but there's always going to be one or two that may slip through the net but I think in terms of an overall package that is best of all completely free uh, relatively straightforward to use and updated all the time by the community I think this is a really good option but please do let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below we are interested to hear your thoughts on it be them positive be them negative I guess there's going to be some people that are going to be somewhat negative. There always are when these security videos go out. So uh, go for it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll be uh, happy to take your questions and try and field them as best I possibly can. So I think that's going to wrap up this video. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the follow-up video. Thanks for watching.